return of USA Man. You've missed me, and you've specifically missed me talking about your favorite topic, Spain. You love it when I talk about Spain. I couldn't have planned this, but this is what happened. Last night, I'm looking through my Netflix queue, and I'm thinking, what, did I, what have I put in here in the last week or so, and I forgot about, oh, here's a movie, an hour and 35 minutes, as you can see in the title of this video, The Platform on Netflix, a Netflix original, and I didn't realize this because I didn't watch the trailer, I just read the description, but that sounds dark and edgy and existential, that sounds relevant to the sort of intelligent entertainment that I seek. So I went ahead and as I'm about to hit play, I realized that the director and the writer, all Spanish, I thought, I have a feeling this is not an American made movie. And turns out once it started, it was very well done, but it was dubbed into American English. So the words didn't quite match the lips, but it, it was very well done. And it, it wasn't distracting to where I couldn't watch the movie and couldn't appreciate it. it it's well done. I, it was just the same as reading. Maybe it was even better than reading subtitles, honestly, because I could hear the, the inflection in their voice was very well done. So ultimately, the takeaway of this, a guy in the United States watching a movie made in Spain starring Spanish actors. Now keep in mind, this is hard for a lot of people outside of the United States to grasp, but we don't have a lot of access face to face with people who are Spaniards, who are Spanish. So it's mind games because we have exposure to Mexican Americans, absolutely. And we have plenty of exposure to people who are not from Mexico who speak Spanish. And they all have a certain look, something they all have in common is there is going to be some traces of a Native American in there. Mayan Aztec, like I have, nearly a, what, 21% is what my DNA test said. Uh, so we are trained, when we hear Spanish, we're trained to look for those traits. I'm like, even if they're lighter skinned, they're ultimately, okay, but yeah, they're, they're Mexican or they're South American, they're Spanish speaking. There's a certain connotation that goes to an American when they hear someone speaking Spanish. They see it. Ultimately, they're seeing those Native American traits. Now, what's interesting and confusing and probably frustrating for a lot of people in Spain and in Europe is that when we actually see someone who is a Spaniard in Spain speaking Spanish, we assign those Native American traits to them. Even though we're not seeing Native American traits, we're actually seeing traces of Middle Eastern. We're seeing Jewish, we're seeing Greek, we're seeing Mediterranean, etc. That's part of that mix. It's, it's part of the reason why it's hard for, uh, why it's such a default for an American person to look at a Spaniard and think they're not white because that's how we perceive Mexican Americans, that they're not white. So we carry on that, con and I get it, believe me, I'm the king of understanding that race is a social construct but still people identify with it. They look up videos on it like you might have done today. So it's real because we give it power, ultimately. So I'm watching the movie. I loved it, you know, it's a good movie. It was great social commentary, very well done, well acted. I love the sort of sci-fi horror aspect of it. Uh, so it was great. It reminded me of another movie I saw on Netflix called The Circle. If you haven't seen that, it's a Canadian made movie, great movie. So I watched the movie and all of the actors, you know, are, are Spanish. They even have one that's uh, African descent, but he's Spanish. They have one that's, I think, Filipino descent, but she's Spanish. So you have different races, but ultimately everybody is Spanish. It was very interesting to see that. But the Spanish people that were not of a different race, as far as how they looked, and a lot of my viewers on this channel have said that ultimately I am the the face of Spain, that it's so strange to see a Spanish looking man speak with an American English accent. Do I need to take my glasses off for a moment so you can see the traits of this Spanish man? There we go. Now that I'm almost 40, I have to pretty much always wear glasses because I just like get dizzy. It's not that I can't see, it's just that I get dizzy because one eye is weaker than the other. So there's a little insight on that. So ultimately, what I want to say, my takeaway as the USA man watching this video in Spain, ultimately, 
it confirms the pre-existing idea in my mind as an American that when I finally do see someone in Spain, I still in my mind think, yep, they could be Mexican. They could be, and you can put any country in there, any nation in there, here in America, the continent, where they speak Spanish and they're Hispanic, they're not Spanish. Because remember, if you're me and most Americans, we don't have access to people from Spain. I mean, there's all kinds of communities here. There's in pretty much every town, there's going to be Chinese people because we have Chinese restaurants. There's going to be Mexican American people because we have Mexican restaurants. We can find communities of people from all across the world. But Spain is an exception to the rule. Despite the history of Spain in the United States, there's so much Spanish history and culture here, but it's become Americanized. But most of us have never met someone from Spain. So all we can do in our brains is connect it to a Mexican American or someone who speaks Spanish that has Native American DNA, which Spanish people don't. And it'd be really weird if somehow miraculously they did. That'd be very odd if they did, but they don't. Now, here's where it gets interesting. This USA man, this face of Spain, has both. According to my heritage DNA test, about a third of my DNA is Spanish. About a third of it is also German, but about a third is Spanish and about 21%, however you want to dice that up, is Native American. So I maybe that's one of the reasons I'm so fascinating to people from Spain, because I look like I should belong in Spain. I speak and think like someone from the USA, but I also have those Native American features so I can kind of cater to both audiences. I think, man, I never thought about it till just now, but maybe that's why it's so fascinating and why I have such a following, such a large following of people from Spain. So there you go, there's my take, great movie, but that was definitely something I noticed, that these Spanish actors, they could just as easily be Mexican as far as I'm concerned, because I assign Native American traits to what ultimately was Middle Eastern traits and Mediterranean traits. Your thoughts, your opinions, your views on the world and this very subject.